Sit it down. Come, sit it down. What the fuck are you doing? What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? And welcome back to another episode of Mavitech. We're playing some Star Wars Battlefront. Uh, we are currently in the beta right now. The beta is open, so I didn't think damn near everybody. But I'm just going to give you guys as the title states in the video. Of course, obviously, uh, my first impression, but this is going to be a live commentary gameplay. So we're in here live. Uh, I'm just going to run around, try not to get my fucking face blown off. Try not to get my my Stormtrooper helmet blow, blown the fuck off of me. So let's talk about a little bit of backstory real quick before we get started. Now, I actually absolutely love Star Wars. When I was a little kid, I was addicted to watching the movies. I had to have the lightsabers. I had to see the movies in the theaters. Of course, I couldn't see the original three because I'm not that old. But, um, you know, I saw episode one, two, and three in the theaters. It was absolutely freaking amazing. I, I had to buy a lightsaber. I, you know, I was just addicted to it, right? So eventually, eventually they got to the point where they were like, okay, you know what we're going to do? We're gonna put, we're gonna start making some some Battlefront games, and that's when my life changed because video games have always been, as you guys know, video games have always been in my life. So pitting some of my two favorite things together was just an amazing. It was so, it was so amazing. So I played Star Wars Battlefront one on the PlayStation two, uh, you know, killing Ewoks on the, on freaking Endor, and then Battlefront two I actually ended up playing on the PlayStation Portable, and that was like nonstop. I could not couldn't couldn't not not play that game. I just spun on my buddy here and. and got wrecked or almost got wrecked oh no did i get wrecked did i get wrecked did i get wrecked no get off me bitch get off me bitch. so coming into this game i was very skeptical because i played those games for so long and i watched a lot of earlier stuff uh, as far as this battlefront goes and i got kind of concerned because it is dice running it so i thought it was just going to be a another battlefield game with a battlefront skin on it i thought i thought that's what it was going to be i i had my you know i had my reasons to be skeptical i had my i had my rights it just looked like that it is nothing like that. The gameplay is so crispy. I'm using an Xbox One controller currently. Uh, I am playing on PC, but I've also played with keyboard and mouse. I've got my shot in with keyboard and mouse. And I can say both ways are so fun to play. So freaking fun to play. The gameplay feels awesome. You can stay in first person or you can switch into third person. Obviously, as we look around and see, the graphics are beautiful. The graphics are beautiful. So on the controller, you know, switching from first to third is kind of annoying. Uh, I noticed a few other things here. It's a couple gripes I have. Um, you, you have a buddy that you can spawn in with, and you can spawn on them in-game. So if you die and your buddy's still alive, you can obviously spawn on them. I don't like that there's not a bigger party system in-game. I think they're missing the opportunity with that. Um, and I don't like the fact that the spawns are pretty fucked. It's just, it's just, you know, it's bad that in all, like, every shooter that I play damn near, I'm, I'm trying to spawn in and run to the battle. As soon as I spawn in, there's two rebel soldiers around, behind me, looking around me trying to kill me anyway i also noticed i watched a gameplay video and i never i haven't actually had the chance to go in as uh the heroes but i watched the gameplay video and they were playing as one was playing as darth vader another one was playing as luke skywalker and um sit it down come sit it down now one person was playing as darth vader the other one was playing as luke skywalker but when i noticed their animations are really shitty they have really shitty character animations and not only that when they swing their lightsabers they're just kind of just and the simple fact that when one of them swung at somebody, they would suck into them. So it would kind of magnetically suck them into their enemy and, and kill it. Kind of like, um, kind of like Commando Pro on Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, to put it into perspective. Kind of like that. The way it just kind of sucks you into an enemy and you get bodied really fast. It's, it's kind of like the same way. And so I wasn't really a fan of that. Like, now like I said, I haven't actually played as, you know, any of the special characters. So I can't really speak on it too much. But I will say that, uh, you know, that's, that's, that's kind of... That will be a concern of mine if, you know, if they, if that, for some reason, you know, if they overdo it with the special characters, you know, they can really mess up with the special characters, but I hope they get that, they get that situated, and I hope that gets better, you know, in time, but, uh, like I said, the gameplay feels solid, everything feels good about the game, this game mode I'm playing right here, and there are two game modes unlocked, uh, for the beta currently at the, at this point in time, uh, the first game mode I'm doing is a pod control game mode, where it's basically capture the zone. It's like this pod drops down and you have to stand around it. Your team, whichever team stands around it the longest, obviously captures the pod. And then your team wins. Oh god, what was that aim in? What was that ADS right there? I'm really loving this game mode just for the simple fact that it is smaller teams. And it gives you a chance to get into the game uh, and, and, just kind of, and just kind of warm up for the bigger shit. Uh, now, speaking of bigger shit, there's another game mode in the game, right? And... I haven't, I only played one match of it and got my fucking ass handed to me. Basically, this game mode uh, has, you know, teams of like 20 on 20. So what you have to do in this big ass game mode is the rebels have to defend. It's the Battle of Hoth, essentially. If you haven't seen the Star Wars movies, it is the Battle of Hoth where the rebels are holding down their mountainous, their snowy mountainous base, right? And the Imperials are like, you know what? We know they're here. Let's destroy them. Let's dominate them. Let's take over their freaking command center. We're going in hot. 
So they go in hot, and you have to defend against them. Now, as the Imperials, obviously, you want to attack, and you want to make sure that your walkers, your big AT-AT walkers, get into the freaking rebel base and destroy everything. So it, it's, it's really large-scale battles, and it was just kind of overwhelming for me. But I see so much, so much potential in this game to be one of the best shooters to come out in 2015. Overall, you know, I came into the game skeptical. Having played the previous Star Wars Battlefront games, you know, I was really concerned about coming into the game and getting a really terrible, watered-down experience. Um, and I'm not getting that, and I'm not seeing that. Like I said, the gameplay feels unique and like its own. Uh, I haven't played Battlefront. Oh, I just threw a grenade at myself. One thing that I am concerned about before this game ends, though, that I will say is I don't like the fact that there's no, there's not going to be a single player, any galactic conquest, anything like that. That's actually really disappointing to me. I, I feel like the game would have so much more, you know, so much more longevity if it actually offered a mode like that. But claim it, get it, get it, bitch. We lost. But ladies and gentlemen, I will say that the game. So far, I gotta put in a little more time on it, but so far, it is looking to be one of the best shooters of this year. Let me contain my excitement. So in conclusion, you guys, the game is really fun. Uh, so far, the game is really fun. It feels amazing, controller in hand or keyboard and mouse in hand. It feels so freaking good. I have I have my worries and I had my doubts, but I don't have my doubts anymore. I wanna put in more time, I wanna see how I feel about this game further down the road, you know, as I log in more hours on the beta. But so far, yo, go get your hands on, get your hands on this damn beta. You have no excuse right now. Uh, thank you guys all so much for watching this episode of Mav Attack. If you enjoyed this little live commentary, gameplay, slash impression, you know what I'm saying? Smack that like button. As always, I appreciate you guys' support so very much. Uh, twin snakes, you know what I'm saying? But, um, all you Mav stay rad, and all you Mav stay fab, and I'll see you guys on the next episode of Mav Attack, motherfucker!